All right, man, we got another one, dog. I don't know what is going on in New York, but, man, it is not looking good for all the black entertainers, man. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read this. As you can see, Cuban Gooding Jr. hit with two civil suits related to New York City SAs. I'm not going to say that word because they might try to demonetize my channel. But anyway, look. I was trying to get the 2,000 subscribers by today, Thanksgiving, but it didn't work. Go look at the subscribers. You'll see that. But I'm going to push it out to the end. I'm going to push it out to December 1st. Go ahead and subscribe to my account real quick. I'd appreciate it. But let me get back to this, man. Cuban Gooden Jr., man. If you don't know who Cuban Gooden, Cuban, Cuban Gooden Jr. is, this man is a very known, successful actor right and he my favorite movie he played in was boys in the hood you know what i'm saying that, that that's that's one that's top three my favorite movies i'm not gonna lie but anyway let's just go ahead and read this actor cuban gooden jr was slapped with two lawsuits wednesday from two women seeking damages from the anguished and endured for the anguish they endured when the oscar winning groped and forcibly kissed them in a separate in separate incidences in New York City, one plaintiff somewhat naively agreed to wait on Gooding Jr.'s table at the LAVO nightclub on the evening of September 9th, 2018, after her co-worker complained that the movie star previously, previously subjected her to inappropriate behavior. The court papers viewed by the Post alleged. The woman serving the actor's drinks when without consent or permission he talking about cuban gooden jr put his mouth up to the plaintiffs and forced his tongue into her mouth the court filing continued gooden jr 55 pleaded guilty to the to a downgraded charge of second degree harassment related to the incident as part of a sweetheart deal in april of 2022 the new lawsuit noted in the second suit Plaintiff Kelsey Herbert accused Gooding Jr. of placing his hand on her leg and then groping her breast at the Magic House rooftop bar and lounge on June 9th, 2019. The filing read. The Men of Honor star was intoxicated and in a full and in a full view of and in full view of his girlfriend when he ignored Herbert's attempt to remove his hand from her breast and tried to kiss her hand. The complainant continued. Hmm. This ain't real right here either. This is this, this is from a TV show. Yeah, yeah. He was he was acting like he was playing OJ Simpson in that movie. In a TV show, my bad. But anyway, Herbert filed a police report and Gooding Jr. was arrested for forcibly touching four days later, the court paper says. The incident was later included in the actor's two thousand two plea deal, and he admitted in the court that he subjected her to non-consensual physical contact, the lawsuit adds. Both Herbert and the plaintiff are now seeking jury trials for the damages related to lost wages, emotional distress, punitive damage, liquidated damages, and attorney fees they sustained as a result of the actor's behavior, the two lawsuits say. Whoa. Come on. Come on with the ads, man. Ah. Uh. Attorneys for for Gooden Jr. did not immediately respond to the post request for comment. So plaintiff Kelsey Herbert pictured with attorney. So this is Shorty right here. Now, if y'all don't know, I'ma say it like I've said in these other in the other videos. Let me read it so y'all can know what, what all this is coming from. Because I don't know if they're gonna say it somewhere in here. If this is this is this lawsuit is happening in New York. Let me read this real quick so y'all can understand that this law that was passed in New York that's enabling people to file these lawsuits. Let me just read it and I'm going to get back to it. This Thanksgiving, sexual assault survivors had a final opportunity to add to more than 2,500 lawsuits, which I actually in my other video found out that it's actually 2,600 lawsuits filed under the, under the New York Adult Survivors Act. A closing Closing a one-year window that helped to bring abusers and their enablers to account. 
Governor Kathy Hochul signed the act into law in May 2022, creating a one year window from November 24th, 2022 through November 23rd, 2023 for people who were 18 years or older at the time of the alleged offense to file a lawsuit against their alleged abusers and the institutions that enabled them, regardless of the statute of limitations. OK. In the final days leading up to the look back window closing, a surge of lawsuits have been filed against high profile individuals across industries. So so that, that's just so y'all can understand. That's so y'all can understand. So if you don't know what statute of limitations is, statute of limitations is basically the amount of time you have when that somebody can be charged with something. OK, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue reading. The suits were filed under the terms of the. Oh, wow. They did say they did. Damn, they did bring it up in here. The suits were filed under the terms of New York's Adult Survivor Act, which is set to expire Thursday. Our clients were deprived of the justice they sought in the criminal case. They are now seeking justice and accountability in their civil cases. Attorneys Gloria Allred and Casey Walnowski said on behalf of their plaintiffs. We are proud of their courage and intend to vigorously fight for them until they win the justice that they deserve. Herbert Herbert previously gave a victim impact statement when Gooden Jr. had his criminal record wiped clean after completing the flimsy terms of his sweetheart deal in October 2022. This plea deal feels like a misstep, she said in Manhattan criminal court at this time. It's hard to describe the weight that comes from a situation like this. Your brain wants to make sense of what happened to you, she said. What does a bad person look like? Why was I targeted? This Wednesday, lawsuits are the latest. Wait, I'm sorry. The Wednesday lawsuits are the latest in the string of troubling complaints against Gooden Jr., who was set to face a civil trial in June for allegedly Barring a woman in 2013 before the parties reached an 11th hour settlement. Though terms of the last minute deal were not disclosed, the accuser was originally seeking six million in damages. Man, is that it? Yep, that's it. Subscribe to my account, y'all, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get y'all to understand what's going on. And I'm doing a lot of reading for y'all, so I'd appreciate it. But now it's time for me to give my give my two cents, man. Like I said in my other video, I think this this little New York Adult Survivor Act, I think this is very dangerous, man. And, and just how the court system even works in general, you know. Okay, of course you got statute of limitations, but these statute of limitations, there's no statute of limitations for for like the criminal part, right? Because if you if you did these things, then, you know, there's no time. But these civil suits have a statute of limitations, has a statute, has a statute of limitations. And this law right here basically allows allowed more time beyond the normal statute of limitations that you would have to file for these civil suits. And a civil suit, if you don't know what, what, what the difference between a civil suit and a criminal suit is, a civil suit is you versus someone. Criminal suit is the state versus you. Criminal suit results in you going to jail or jail time or some type of record. Civil suit is about money or compensation, right? And I think that this is dangerous, man, because all it does is just opens up the window for people to basically put the put uh, and it's, because it's a lot of like celebrities going through it. And it don't even have to be celebrities, though. It's anybody. It allows you to weaponize this system against people. It allows you to put people in a situation where they have to spend a lot of money to defend themselves. And and within defending themselves, if they do successfully, that's just a hit that they got to take. Allow, and, and this allows people to weaponize the system to get at you. Now, like I've said about all of these other things, man, I don't know what happened i don't know if he actually did these things yes he pled guilty to all of these things you know to these different things and got lesser charges but just because you pled guilty to these things don't mean anything doesn't just because you plead guilty to something don't mean 
that you actually did it because a lot of times people will plead guilty a lot of people will plead guilty to things because the plea deal is lesser than what they could get if they're found guilty now if if we all know one thing about the criminal system the the not even the criminal system the law law system in general the court system is that you don't actually have to be guilty of doing something to be found guilty in the end so sometimes you got to sit there and you got to weigh the options of, OK, if I take the plea deal, the plea deal is less than what I would get if this court somehow, some way finds me guilty. And being a black man, being accused of doing something to this lady right here. I don't know. You you. you you know, you might just have to make that decision to take that plea. Now, I know there's a lot of people that will sit here and be like, nah, I'm fighting it to the end. But until you in that situation, you never really know what you what you would do. But like I said, Cassie in Diddy's situation is also in New York. And she also filed under that same um, that same New York Adult Survivors Act. Right. And as you've seen, Diddy settled with her so fast. And and just these allegations alone can ruin somebody in a public figure in a in a public's eye, especially these public figures. Like people like low end people, they go through their thing and it might just be done and over it. Nobody cares unless they become famous and they people dig it up and they discover it. But somebody that's already prolific and established and has that's in the public eye, accusations like this could destroy you, man. Diddy was accused by Cassie and he whatever the settlement amount was we don't know they probably probably will never know he paid her that quick and it would potentially be swept under the rug but it wasn't because he also had other repercussions you know what I'm saying like Macy's taking his clothes out saying that he's phasing his clothes out you know talking about Diddy and all of this stuff and and the Ciroc people trying to get rid of him not showing him in no more ads all of these different things so it seemed like he could have got Diddy could have got skated free from it all but all I did was open up the window for more stuff to happen and as you can see Diddy is being sued by other people that's accusing him of SA watch this video subscribe bubble right here and I'm out